Hello, I'm Virginia Brown, the president of the Bioelectric Shield Company. The other day, someone sent us a video clip showing two new Shield customers attempting to test the effectiveness of the Shield by using a gas meter, taking readings in the room, and then taking readings uh, near a cell phone, and then showing a person putting on the Shield and taking more readings. The readings didn't change. So we thought it would be a good idea to explain to everyone exactly what you really should be testing in terms of uh, whether or not the shield is working for you. There are electromagnetic fields everywhere and the real question is are they going to get to your bio field and affect it or not? And that's really where the shield comes in. When you put on a shield the specific configuration of quartz and other crystals is designed to refract or mirror away those electromagnetic frequencies. You're not going to see a change in the field, the EMF field, on the outside of you, but if you test the body, you'll understand very quickly that the readings that you get from testing either acupuncture or muscle strength or heart rate variable will all show you that the shield is actually pushing those frequencies away. You'll still measure them out here, but it's not affecting your body. So let me give you an analogy. If you're a skin diver, you're going to put on what they call a dry suit. And that dry suit is going to keep the water on this side and keep you dry. The only way you're going to know if your dry suit is working is not to test outside the dry suit and say, you know, it's really not working because the water is still wet out here. No, what you have to do is actually test inside the dry suit. So that's what all our research has been. We've tested you know, acupuncture and uh, muscle strength and a variety of parameters, 12 different studies. So when you're wearing a shield, an EMF meter is really not going to be particularly useful to you to tell whether or not your shield is working. It won't be useful at all, in fact. With a room shield, it's a similar situation. The crystals in the shield are designed, they're set up in a specific grid, um, really using a very similar technology to what was used in the 1920s when they won three Nobel Prizes in physics using quartz to refract away x-rays. It's very similar technology and when you hang a room shield um, in a room then what happens is that any EMF that comes toward that room is simply going to be mirrored back away and out of that room. So again even if you're measuring EMF points in the room, you could be measuring an EM EMF field that's actually being deflected away and out of the room. So we just wanted to let you know that this is just not an appropriate uh, application of using a, a gas meter for measuring the effectiveness of uh, either the room shield or the bioelectric pendant that you wear on your body. If you'd like more information about how the shield works, we invite you to go to our website, www that bioelectricshield.com. At the top of the site, there are navigation links, and one of them is called About the Shield. If you hover your mouse over that one, you'll see all kinds of information that you can access. How to choose protection, how the shield works, how it was invented, research and testimonials. So thank you for your interest, and we hope to see you on our website.